now I have Nick Pauling with us. Uh, Nick, uh, good evening. Uh, Louis' plays are not really narrative plays in the sense A follows B follows C leads to D. Um, they are much more about the language and the characters and about issues. But what is the narrative structure on which the Visigoths hangs? Uh, hi, John. Sorry about that. I was actually in uh, tech. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a relationship story, I suppose. Um, about um, uh, an elder, older man and a younger man, and, and the idea that the older man had helped the younger man in a time before the older man went to prison, and the younger man has come back to ask for a favor. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm sorry, John. That's all right. That makes sense. I'm out of breath just saying that. Um, I, I've seen Louis' plays before, so I know how much how much You've sense. You've been in Louis' plays, John. Before. So, uh, there is a double challenge doing a play by Louis Full Yun: is you have to get the character, and you have to match the character to the language, which is often hyper language, and not the way that you would hear people talking to each other if you eavesdropped on a couple of people standing on a corner waiting for a traffic light to turn green or red. Correct. And how do you meet that challenge? Um, well, I think, and then Louis puts it um, very very clearly at the beginning of a rehearsal, is that uh, that's the world that they live in in the same way that um, a Shakespearean play or a Pinter play exists. Um, that's just the, that's their way of communication. So you just got to kind of jump into that and realize that instead of saying, um, can I have a cup of tea, they may live along the lines of, may I procure the steaming aqua cup of or vessel that stands before you. So the, the, the language becomes sort of uh, maybe a weapon to attack, to defend. Um, but it's, it's, that's, you just accept that that is the world in the, in the same way that you would with, with the Shakespeare. Does that answer the question? But in in that world, um, people do terrible things to each other, and I mean, there's there's almost always an act of violence, mental, verbal, or physical, or combination thereof, in in these plays, which make them delicious to perform. I think because they they're about big things, they're about big emotions, big themes, big language. Absolutely, um, and yeah, and, and this one, this one's no different. This one has there's a, there's always well, often there's a, there's an, an, an event or a, um, a transaction that is typically violent or or, or sad. Um, and as Louis, I think, has sort of said in the past, he likes to well my mind. That's a well of awfulness that, that that human beings are capable of, and what people are capable of to remedy those those things in revenge or remedy those in retaliation um yeah so the themes are, are themes i don't themes are not the right word the the events are big and i think just back to the language that the language um allows those events to not seem too far-fetched because it, it holds so much it can hold so much in terms of of uh, metaphor and, and image Two people on a stage is it's quite scary. Um, not quite as scary as only one person on a stage. But at least you got somebody <laughs> you know to that, help John. you. <laughs> at least you got somebody to help you when you forget the line. Um, but but it is there's a lot of focus on you and and there, there's so many dynamics that you have to get right and and so many passages of mood and flavour and you've got to go a little bit back here, a little bit forward there, jump left, jump right, do it all at the right time. And but it's it's a wonderful challenge to to build that level of trust with a one actor in a rehearsal period, which probably in the case of uh, the Visigoths wasn't terribly long. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a very it's it's a, it's a great um, sort of bonding or um, activation of trust, as you say, um, time. And as you say, yeah, it's it's a short time. It's, it's sort of a two weeks to prepare a King Lyrian type play. Um, but yeah, to that you you do have to find and develop the trust with the other actor, and Daniel's been terrific. Um, and yeah, it's 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 one of the the, the, the challenges, but also one of the the joys.
and that is the Visigoths, which you have your first audience uh, tomorrow night, official opening tomorrow. on Thursday night. It's at the Masambe Theatre, which is the uh, sort of ground level theatre down the sort of what looks like a uh, ramp to a garage. There's a lovely little theatre in there, in which a play like this has immense power and immense force. Official opening on Thursday night. It starts at half past seven and it continues. Well, it's this week and then the two weeks after that, Nick. Yes, that's it, yeah. So it's uh, two and a half, three weeks, yeah. Yeah, and it's written by Louis Fulhoun, it's directed by Louis Fulhoun, it stars Nick Pauling, it's got to be good. Nick, thanks very much for pulling out <laughs> of you, your John. tech. Thank you very much. See you on Thursday night.